that group of protesters gathered outside the Brookings Administrative Center in Urbana this afternoon. They have some issues, as you heard, with the most recent election results. They claim there was an issue with the voting machines. The county clerk says it's a misunderstanding. WCI 3's Jared Farmer is live in the newsroom. Jared, the person who organized this protest was on the ballot. Jessica Linda Turnbull was a candidate for the Urbana Park District but lost her race. She claims the county's newest voting machines had an error that forced people to vote for multiple candidates. And when we spoke with Clerk Aaron Ammons, he walked us through exactly how that machine works. While the machine alerts you if you haven't voted for multiple candidates when you can, he says it doesn't force you to vote for two people like the protesters are claiming. Ammons says he also cleared that misunderstanding up with the voter who raised these concerns. But protesters are still claiming that it caused confusion. I think people got confused by the instructions and that they felt forced. I sent Ms. Turnbull a video, much like the one I just showed you all, and I used the exact same machine at the exact same location where the voter said she felt like something may have gone wrong. So I went there to investigate it and nothing was wrong with the machine. Ammons says he'll release an educational video clarifying how the machines work. He also gave Turnbull and the other protesters an opportunity to see how these machines work while they were outside at Brookins. He says they declined. Ammons says when casting your ballot to make sure you're reading all of your instructions carefully and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about your ballot as you fill it out to ask an election judge. Jessica? All right, Jared, thank you.